Seth, what's the deal? Mr. Smarty Pants over there solving our problems. Oh. Thank you. I've never had this happen before. See someday what it used to look like when we first got here. Just wanted to capture some of the moving process here. We're tearing down the lift now. Got almost everything packed, ready to go. Mike helped me put the lift up. He's helped me take it down too. You having fun, Mike? Oh yeah, it's good hot. It's like a bazillion degrees here. <laughs> Yes, sir. Tore down all the shelves, got them bundled up. Got boxes and boxes of tubing, new tools from Tecton that I didn't get to open yet. We'll do an unboxing of those once we get to the new shop. Man, and we're bringing the lights over there too. But right now, we're gonna use the forklift to drag the Monte Carlo out into that open area that's unoccupied. Um, the building owners are gonna let me do that. There's so much freaking stuff in here. We're gonna get the Monte Carlo out get the Escalade out, and then take my lights down. Basically the main reason for moving is we couldn't get anything done in there. There's just so much going on with the shop and customer cars and our work areas and like that back corner. So we're so far away from the door that every night and even points during the day, there's just customer cars running and non-running just piled up all the way out the door. And we can't get to the lift and the guys on the other side of the building that own the building they play copyrighted music all day until five o'clock. I know some of you guys know that before, so it makes it hard to film. Coincidentally, after five o'clock is when the guys from the shop pull all the cars back inside and, you know, make the door unusable. We just couldn't get anything done. It just, it was holding us back. It's holding back growth, it's holding back builds. It's just, you know, it was time to make a change. I can't wait to be in our own spot where we can get things done whenever we need to get them done. Actually, this is not a sad moment. I'm really excited to actually put this lift in a place where it can be used. Oh man, one down, one to go. I'm just gonna close my eyes and pretend I don't see that because that looks just terrible. Yeah, now go up. There you go. Well, we are almost all loaded up. It's been one heck of a day documenting the process. My mom is here helping us move. Ah, I got the seats in there. I found out that the, I'm taking the video for the video. Yeah. I got the seats from Yukon in there. I figured out how they flipped down. Oh, perfect. I unfolded one of them and then the other one went like right in front of it, right on top of it. And I got the, the welder in there. Yeah, we're we're making great time. I can't believe all this stuff fit into a 16-foot Penske truck. Monte Carlo is loaded behind Elvis. Penske truck is full. Escalade has seen daylight for the first time since November. Just got it sitting right there. Because once the uh, Snyder tire place, um, one of my wheels stuff broke. I think it's probably my fault anyway. But they got to fix that. They left to go get another one. They're coming back and they're putting the wheel back on the newel. As soon as that happens, I can pull it out and use the Penske truck to pull my trailer out and get it to somewhere that we can hook up to it and winch the Escalade up onto there. But right now, we're just chilling. Here we go, folks. The end of an era. My triple seven. Some lady just totally ran into Logan about a mile from the shop. So we now have Penske roadside assistance to pop on a new tire. Yay. So day two, we drove about two miles outside of the rest stop in Tallulah, Louisiana, where we slept and the rental trailer got a flat tire. I think on the same side that that lady hit Logan yesterday. <laughs> if it was the tire the guy changed or what. Yeah. 
I don't know, maybe he didn't air it up to the right pressure. I was going to ask him if he did. I just assumed that he did. Yeah, that's the one the guy changed. It could have been. Dang. Well, now we call Penske uh, roadside assistance again. And they, they'll bring us another tire. Maybe they'll bring us another trailer. I don't know. The axle could be bent. That's very possible that the axle bent because she hit it here. I don't know. Yeah, the wheel looks like it might be towed out a bit. I thought that it looked like it was when we were coming back from the truck. Yeah. Yeah, we might need a new trailer. Damn. On the phone with Penske now, they uh, are probably gonna have to get a new trailer because I think when that lady hit the trailer last night, she bent the axle and it makes the tire wear funny. I think it's like rubbing on the inside of the, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it was rubbing on the inside of the fender. like that but hey what's a good road trip video where you don't have any problems or like several it's good content yeah no this this lady just drove straight into the trailer like it, she, Logan did absolutely nothing wrong I'm and like turning left on a freaking green light directly behind you and your mom's behind me and this lady turns right on that and just drove me a mile from the shop a mile we got that far but hey, you know, after that, yesterday went pretty well. So we drove about a mile from the truck stop today. <laughs> yeah. Once we get this sorted out, we should be okay. We may have to spend another night on the road, but that's not really a big deal. It does. Hey, you know, this could keep us out of Atlanta traffic. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm So instead of being in Atlanta traffic, we're getting you guys some killer content and putting us in a precarious situation on the side of I-20. As you can see, manages to find a semi-decent spot on the shoulder, but probably gonna have to pull that wheel off and limp it to the next spot. The closest Penske location is uh, 17 miles from here. We wouldn't really want to go that far. Yeah, we just go slow. Yeah. If you keep going, it'll just fling rubber pieces everywhere and probably hit the car. But I'd also like to say that the idiot that ran into the trailer hit it in the perfect spot to not hit the Monte Carlo, which by the way has a completely fresh paint job on it. So we got lucky. On another note, I put new Michelin XZE2 front tires on the Newell, moved the old fronts to the tags because they were flat spotted. Thing drives fantastic. Feels good to be back out on the road with it. I just like to get back out on the road with it. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Yep, we have to take the blown out tire off the trailer and limp over uh, about 20 minutes from here is the next Penske location where they have a different trailer that we can switch to. But it's not an actual Penske location, it's just like a lawnmower service place, so we don't know if we'll be able to find someone to help push this thing. I figure we can round up some able-bodied people to do that. If not, um, it's either that or limp it uh, a full hour to the actual Penske location, which I don't want to do with one tire, not when it's this hot out. You can see what we got going on here. It was definitely rubbing on this. And you can tell the wheel's got a little bit of a to it because she hit it like that. So, um, yeah, got to get the, she's getting the four-way out right now. All right. It was one of two options. We could limp it to the next Penske certified location, which is a lawnmower service place. They have a trailer. Yeah. But we don't know how many people will be able to help push in 20 minutes. Oh. Or we limp an hour to the actual Penske location with all the help we would need. The safer bet is go 20 minutes and flag someone down to help us. I, we can get this up there. Yeah. yeah. We all, I mean, we almost did it by ourselves before. You don't have a jack? Don't need it. Oh. There's a jack on the front, but. Yeah, there is, isn't there? Oh, you're supposed to do that when it's down anyway, I think. Otherwise, it doesn't wiggle. 
Do we determine if the trailer has a, a burr that was causing the issue or? It's rubbing on there. Yeah, oh, you can it's see it. Yep, yep. Yeah, the it whole it thing did like that. It didn't it? Okay. The back. Yep, I see that. I'm just going just behind. See, Makes sense. Like yep, pulled high. away. Yep. Oh, well, we did the best we could. I didn't realize that was like, I knew it was bent, but I didn't realize that like I know, yeah. I didn't know it pulled away either. It's just enough to cause a problem. I don't have any record of it. What are the odds of stopping right there? Wow. Weird. What's, that, what's the deal? Ear freshener shaped like Oklahoma. <gasps> That's weird. Oh, that is weird. It is shaped like Oklahoma. It's like where you started. It is. It's weird. You have to say it's that. Strange. That's crazy. It does look just like Oklahoma. That's definitely someone that was there with their before <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we're keeping that. That's, That's hilarious. Funny. I don't know what could be on here. I'll wash it or something. No, but. it's just a piece of rubber out of truck or something. That's fine. All right, so do we just throw that in a ditch or bring it with us? We'll bring it with us. We still want the wheel. Okay. Um, All righty. Oh, that was not that bad to get off. I wasn't sure if I would be able to uh, like, get the torque without the, the yeah, tread I on the ground. Yeah, something under there. That's what I was thinking. Careful, babe. Jeez. Be careful with my wheels. Or yeah, throw in the back seat or something. Oops, okay. Sorry. I was worried she was gonna toss it right on top of the beadlocks. And she knows better. She knows I probably better than that. I, I probably would have tossed it on top of the beadlock. Okay, so are we moving? Yep, I think we'll only go like 40 miles an hour or something. Okay. If you're in the back and you ride with hazards on. Yeah, 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 yeah. And is there something? Yeah, her other tire is okay, isn't it? It's not yeah. rubbing. All right, so we'll follow you. We'll go the speed you say, and let's get her done. I'm not stressing. All I can think of is that scene, oh, that golf scene from Family Guy, where Peter's like, this is fun. We're having fun. This is fun. We're having fun right now. So fire the hog back up. It's a complete disaster in here. There's stuff everywhere. But, you know, Ruger's up there. Got the fan. Let's go. We're going like 40 miles an hour. We're almost there. Really shouldn't be filming and driving this thing at the same time, but we're going so slow that it's all right. Normally this thing's such a handful that, you know, you don't really have the ability to do anything else because the steering wheel's so dang big, you're just, just wheeling the whole time. We're crossing the Mississippi River. Oh, by the way, walkie-talkies on a convoy, absolute must do. It is the best thing ever. Especially for situations like this where you have things happen. Yeah, if Roger Penske knew how the 1-800 number worked, he'd be living. Okay, so let me explain what happened here. After we got to where we're going, we had to drive my mom back to Pennsylvania, so that's where I'm at right now. I'm editing this video in her kitchen. The Penske roadside assistance had a 93 minute wait time just to talk to somebody. When we're on the side of the highway, so I was like, okay, that's not gonna work. Can't do that. So I used my brain and I called the nearest Penske location, which was uh, in Richland, Mississippi, I think. And that guy was super helpful. He's like, oh my God, you can't sit there. We gotta figure this out. And he's the one that I talked back and forth with to figure out that we should take the wheel off and limp it to the closest outpost location, which was this lawnmower place we're about to go to. They were great. And full disclosure, Penske handled this super well after the fact. They completely refunded my entire rental um, because of this. They were awesome. There's specific places that were pretty useless, like the the roadside assistance part of the Arlington place where we rented from. Lady on the phone was super rude and terrible. Couldn't even find the record of the rental even happening. So it took us three hours to get the tire the first day, and the guy never even like inspected the trailer. Use your brain. The 1-800 number may not always be the way to go. Uh, but they handled it so well, and I called them mostly just to help them make sure that this doesn't happen to other people. So I will be using Penske in the future. I just wanted to say that uh, moving forward for the rest of this video. So let's jump back to the struggle. So the fact that I was able to find a parking lot that I could pull a U-turn in in the historic district of Vicksburg, Mississippi is a amazing feat in itself. Look at that. This is just so out of place. I love it. Okay. They're playing right down there. I think we'll be able to find people to help because there's a fire station right across the street. The firemen are always cool. So my mom's already in there talking to the people. 
because she can pull up right up to the door. Stapleton Adventure World, coming right up. Melsh Myers. Yeah, I had faith in the people of the South. The guy over there is gonna move his truck so we can use that little hill right there to do all this. We're gonna pull up there and unload the car. And yeah, this is open because this thing is fried anyway. If you uh, saw that in a different video, if you wanna see more about this car, there's a whole playlist of it. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and check it out because we get ourselves into nonsense all the time. So you gotta sit in there and hold the brake while I pull away on the brake pedal. It's not coming off. The front wheels aren't working. Go, go, go they say. It's not letting go. Wait, it's just dragging it. Oh, they put something in front of the back wheel. That's working perfect. They put something like a chuck down. Good. Who's that idea? Mr. Smarty Pants over there solving our problems. Thank you. That was what it took. Say hi to the guys on YouTube. Hold the brake. Hold the brake. That's perfect. Okay. One of our friends here put a little chuck in the wheel and that, that was all we needed. Yeah, that worked out well. Yep. He's a star now. All over YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag dude it. Prices, glass, and mirrors. <laughs> what is your name? Dave McGaff. Dave, nice to meet you. And you are? Melvin. Melvin. Hi, yes. Melvin. I'm Linda. It's my son Mitchell and my girlfriend Melvin. I'm a terrible videographer. Sorry, Mitchell. I don't know what I'm pointing at. I'm just holding it. Oh, that was a lightning. Yikes. Yeah. Very humid here. There's our thunder. In the fabulous city of Vicksburg, Mississippi. I missed the Mississippi we just line. The, the river. The oh, river is that it? The, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it was a complete numbskull. We just went into Mississippi, but she didn't tell me that. You let me think I was dumb driving from Mississippi mm -hmm. all day. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> dumb blonde. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys are great. Thank you for your help. It's a challenging situation. We're just trying to make the best of it. I don't know how to turn this off, babe. I'm just like running. There's a Is this just it right here? Yeah. Just sitting here with my foot on the brake extra hard so I don't slide down this gravel waiting on Mitchell with the trailer, which he didn't get because he didn't listen to me. On a side note, I'm absolutely disgusting. I'm just sitting here sweating, dripping. But it's kind of cool to sit in this car. This is definitely my favorite car Mitchell has. I think it's really cool. The old car smell and just the cool classic car is just awesome. And it, I mean, it's old, but obviously it's like in really good shape. Like everything in here is still really nice. Minus the missing stuff that he pulled out. All right, so we're gonna see if we can get this thing on. strap down get back on the road I'm probably gonna hose myself off in the shower before I start driving because I'm swamped right now here we go never say we'd give up <laughs> God and there she is beautiful little thing under the car getting all dirty oh honey yeah. you should let him do that she is not a shrinking violet, is she? No, I didn't even ask her to do that. She just started doing it. She, you sure you don't want to wish yourself off before we start driving? You probably will. Probably. I think we should. Yeah. Very nice people. Prices, glass, and mirror. Gave us ice water. Vicksburg, gave us a, Mississippi. Vicksburg, Mississippi. Helped us push our truck up onto the trailer. That lady in there is the sweetest thing ever. She kept running back and forth. I can get you more ice. I said, no, we have good ice. <laughs> yeah, I think we're better off coming here than going to the actual Penske Depot. Well, got you. Absolutely. But like, yeah, here's here, your push. I'll get you some more. I'll get you some more. Here's what will left. Now I got ice water. I just want to introduce you to our friends. 
That sweet lady gave us ice water. It's a nice little place to get your glass work done. A little advertising for the sweet people in Vicksburg, Mississippi. I'm getting some more ice water. Thank you to this kind gentleman you, for his muscles. We appreciate you. Nicest people here. Next step in the adventure. Hopefully we'll make it to the next town without another mechanical failure. He won't put this on here, but I'm so proud of him. I don't care. <laughs> Took four men and an ox. That's the ox right there to get that thing on the trailer. Driving for a while now. The trailer lights on the new trailer don't seem to be working that great, so we're gonna see if the connector's loose or something. Stop and pee and stuff. Probably let the dog out. Oh, I love this thing. I'm not shutting the engine off because you know diesels it's better just let them run than to stop them and start them if you're gonna be back in a couple minutes anyway. Let the cool oil flow through the turbo, all that stuff. What a freaking hog. You can see that that panel down there. Um, during the Great Texas Freeze, I tried to open that bay and that piece ripped off. So I took it the rest of the way off so it wouldn't fly off while we were driving. That's something I got to fix once we get settled in the new location, which I'm still not telling you where it is. Once we get there, you'll know. And it was rubbing on the raw edge and just cut it right up. Oh, so that was... It was down here and going like that. Oh. I thought it was dragging on the road, but... Uh, no, it's their yeah. problem. That's the way they wired it. Well, we can just cut it, splice it color to color. Yeah. Sure. Easy enough. Oh, hi. And <laughs> the camera. You can just cut them and twist them together and tape it. It'll Do be you fine. Have any tape? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah, I got it all stripped with the scissors. I just took time to get them taped together. I could do it if you don't want to. Oh, I'm kind of half assing it. I know how to. I just don't know if I'm doing it well. Do you want to do it? Yeah, I sir. Stripped, I stripped it with the scissors. Oh, you probably. Got it good enough. I'll figure it out. This should be my job anyways. Did they work? <laughs> yes, they did. Everybody ready? Hi. Got you a pillow. Rockstar status. We're killing this move. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nothing spite of everything they've done to, to thwart our efforts. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, how much farther are we driving? Um, until we don't want to anymore. Okay, I'm good. I think so. it'd be cool to get through Atlanta. Yeah, I would too. Yeah, I Let's do that so that we're not... We can cannonball through Atlanta and then it doesn't matter when we stop. Okay. Then that's the last major big area. Made it to South Carolina now. Uh, we slept last night in a Walmart parking lot in Commerce, Georgia, which is where Atlanta Dragway is. Which is also the very first place that the Escalade went after the turbo build and the first time it blew up a transmission. So I got... Got a little bit of a mental scar from that whole area there, but at least I was familiar with it. Um, my mom's filling up the Penske truck. And I have not filled up this entire time. I filled up before we left Texas, about a half tank. It's a little more than that, it's right now because we're turned. But yeah, this, this Newell's got a big tank. About three hours away now. I can't wait to show you guys the new shop, it's freaking, freaking sweet and I realized I still haven't said where we're going if you know where we're going already leave a comment and don't spoil it maybe I don't know if you're from where we're going leave a comment I want to know how many people because I know there's a good bit of you guys there because we ship shirts there I see that so I'm pretty pumped I feel like Dora the Explorer talking to a freaking bush right now say bush three times all right Let's hit the road. So after we pulled out, started smelling something funny. I see smoke come out of my wheel wells. So I pull over and go to pull the parking brake thing and it was already out. Like I was driving with the brakes engaged. Yeah, I know I, know I pushed the button in to drive away, but maybe I didn't push it in the whole way. I've never had this happen before. But 
Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. Right there. Careful. Oh. I'm on some right here. We're just staying out of the tree. Yeah, so I'm hesitant to throw water at it because that could, I don't know, mess something up more. It's slowing down. But man, it was just, it's hot. I don't know, I guess. I guess when we start up again, we'll see. Yeah. Just give it some time to cool off and... I know, I think... They're just really hot. They yeah, they're, they're just really hot. There. That's just the brake, uh, brake shoe material. Yeah, I think they just need some time to cool down. Okay, so brakes appear to be okay. Operator error, I take full responsibility. But, uh... I was narrowly able to avoid a road alligator, but Logan was not. We went under the truck, pulled the trailer uh, trailer light wires out, so I'm gonna put them back in real quick. Okay. Yeah. You did the right thing. Yep. This was dangling. I could see something flopping, and I don't see anything down there now. That's then, good. Fact, <laughs> yeah. If we would have went a couple more miles, it would have burned the rest of the way, but. We did good. Mommy got your back. Yep. Always go into the center with the road alligator because that keeps it from flopping up into the car too because of all this. But that's what happened. We're good. All right. All right. Cool. Oh my god. Good job. I'm so done with all this stress and scariness. Just like went over. I was like, what the f are you doing? You don't have any signals or anything. You think I have time to do that? <laughs> For those of you who don't know, uh, when I say road alligator, I mean when someone's tire blows out and then the tire tread carcass is all over the road. My dad used to call him that, or he still does, but whenever we would go on uh, road trips with his motorhome and stuff, he would call him road alligator. So that is where I picked up the terminology from and you guys can use that too. Maybe we'll make that a thing. Amen. Ugh. In two miles, take exit 24 for North Carolina 27, North Carolina 150 toward Lincoln. A trailer where the newel is going to be but um they're going to get that moved in the next couple days right now i just got to drop the escalade over there somewhere and back the newel so we can plug into the wall but that's it that's the spot we did it we did it mission accomplished we did it we can walk in here and get the before someday what it used to look like when we first got here. This is it. This is it. Our own four walls. Your own four walls. And ceilings. They have a, a dog gate? They have an invisible fence here. That's pretty cool. Why is that? Why can't I see anything anymore? Touch the screen. Oh, thank you. Sorry. Yeah. I'm a rookie. Rookie. An invisible fence here. That's pretty handy. Yeah. All you gotta do is get a collar. bathroom oh my gosh that's awesome wow just for you guys mm -hmm. oh my gosh this is our our unit that's fantastic 
Wow. Wait, there's more. <gasps> oh, yeah. What's more? <gasps> You've got to be kidding me. What? Are you kidding me? How does this even happen? Literally insane. They just had this right here. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh my gosh. All you need is a little, little hut and a, and a fan. <laughs> wow, Ruger, you're gonna love it here, buddy. Oh my gosh, that's wonderful. I thought you were just gonna show me a patch of grass and I'm like, oh cool, place for him to go. Yeah, it's that's completely amazing. fenced in everywhere. Oh. Once it's not the that's, dead of summer here, it'll be perfect weather. You could just yeah. hang out out here as long as you want. Yeah, it's too hot for him right now, but geez, that's fantastic. He's gonna, he's gonna live the life, man. He likes the sun bathe, so he'll love that. Very cool. This is part of uh, an NHRA um, Pro Mod team, a pro stock engine facility in the main building, and Armageddon Turbo also. It's all right here. So all Armageddon Turbo kits come from the other side of the wall. So we're standalone but we're still part of a, a group, which is gonna be really cool. We'll talk more about all the details of everything else here in an upcoming video, but we'll leave you hanging for a little bit just because we can. Well, might as well film the opening up of it. I'll film it. Okay. Drum roll. Oh my gosh, not bad. <laughs> Looks yeah. like everything stayed pretty much where we put it. <laughs> Exactly where we put it, except for that one tire. Yeah, that one wheel. Cool. I guess a little stuff to get everything out of here that we can with the door closed, the nice air conditioning, and then get some of the other guys with the, the forklift to help us get the lift out. Now, next day, getting everything unloaded with the door shut and the air conditioning on. And she did all this by herself while we ran to the store and got water. I'm pushing 60 people. This is a Herculean feat. <laughs> Yeah, nothing, nothing moved, nothing's broken so far. It's actually very well packed. It wasn't hard. I had to play a little Tetris with the wooden pieces because I can't get this engine out by myself. Yeah. Got it in here by myself, but I can't get it out. <laughs> yeah, you just picked it up and put yeah. it in there. <laughs> I need my Hercules son to help with all this stuff. It's starting to get heavy. Well, uh, I'm going to run over there and see if I can get the forklift to get this out. Okay. And then we can get everything else out and do the lift last because we put that in first. Perfectly. So... Awesome. I'm in good shape. I feel good about this. This is almost done. Yeah, really. And that thing is the greatest thing ever. And I've said that a bunch of times, but it's literally like, it's bright in here. We have more lights to put in here too. I'm only sweaty because I was working hard. It's not hot. Yeah, and it's, you know, thermostat's at 76. It's not even, it's not even. And, and Poochie's happy, look. Yeah, now he has room to breathe. Good boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now I will go get the forklift. Well, the whole process was really just boom, 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 boom. It was hard to film because uh, basically we got to the new shop. The next day we unloaded everything. The next day we hit the road in the morning to bring my mom back to Pennsylvania, which is where we are at right now. No, the new shop is not in Pennsylvania. And now we are here resurrecting Uncle George, which is or 1993 Suburban that I bought several years ago and that's been sitting in the grass waiting to be built. We're gonna drive that thing back uh, back to North Carolina, which is where the new shop is. Boom, there's your, there's your treat for watching the entire video. Yeah, you have anything to, to add for all of this just like post-trip reflection? There's no place like home. <laughs> That's all I can say You're about glad, that. Glad to be back. I'm glad to be back. But honestly, as much drama as there was, it you're you being mechanical and us all working together, it really went pretty smoothly considering there was so much agony. It wasn't as agonizing as it could have been. No, definitely not. And I'd also like to point out that Logan has never towed a car in her entire life, and she towed the Monte Carlo 1,100 miles on a trailer that had bad weight balance and, and three tires at one point. Yes. She did a great job. You did it. You like a... <laughs> <laughs> Definitely deserves a round of applause. It was, it was not easy, but we did it. Mm -hmm. She has now hauled more 
car for more miles than probably 98% of guys with Cummins Atomiers that are flipped up. So there's that. <laughs> and we can't wait to get back there with Uncle George to do that road trip. That'll be the next video you're gonna see. And then we're gonna be unpacking the shop, getting all the shelves set up, cleaning up everything, getting it all in there. I gotta, also, if you know anybody in the Mooresville, North Carolina area, who does electrical work, like I need to have some lights put in, I need to install the lift. Um, I also need a, uh, a mobile RV place to put another roof unit in the Newell. So anybody with your recommendations, there's an email in the description. Send me an email if you do some of that stuff. I'd love to work with you. Be involved in the, the community because you know, we really don't know that many people around here. So hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think and we will see you on the road trip video.